So over here we have a material for this starfish that you can see up here, but it's entirely procedural and this is a asset that I've made to use in a game. So I can't very well just take this procedural stuff and put it in the game engine. I could have obviously made something like this procedural within the engine, but oftentimes you will want to be able to literally just export a couple of images and use that as the material. And as you can see over on this side, that is entirely possible. It's not even all that complicated. So first things first, do make sure that your model is UV unwrapped. In this case, the starfish is literally just cut in half because that works well enough. There is a little bit of stretching going on, but not too much. So once you've got your model UV unwrapped and you go back into the shading tab, you've made your material. In this case, that's two shaders that are getting mixed. If you want to see a tutorial about how to mix materials and shaders like this, there's a link down below in the description and up top in the card. But now we have this material over here, which is absolutely fantastic, right? It's, it's a nice little starfish, but we want to export it. Well, let's get into that. First things first, your rendering engine is going to have to be set to cycles. This will not work in Eevee. It's a little bit dumb that you have to do this, especially since you're not doing like actual like 3D renders here. You're just baking the textures, but for some reason doesn't work in Eevee. So do set it to cycles. Then you are going to make a new image texture. You're going to uh, go new, call it something like uh, base color starfish. And set a resolution to whatever you want. 1K, 2K, maybe 4K if you really need to. Uh, for the time being, we're going to go with 2K resolution. 2048 by 2048. We can generate a type, set that to blank and go OK. And then with this selected, going over in the same menu as your render engine, going all the way down here to bake, you can choose your baking type. So that can be diffuse, that's the base color, combined, that is all of the shading information all together. So if you want to bake in things like shadows into your textures, that is entirely possible. Ambient inclusion, shadows, position, normal, UV, roughness, emission, environments, diffuse, glossy, and transmission. By and large, the things that you're going to want to bake for a game engine, for instance, are going to be the diffuse, what it's set to right now. You're going to want the normals and you're going to want the roughness. Maybe glossy, depending on how the rendering in your engine works. Let's start with diffuse and then contributions. We're going to say not direct, not indirect. That is about which lightings are taken into account while baking this texture. Uh, again, if you want to have lighting baked into your texture, you can do that. By and large, I would advise just don't do that because you don't really need that. We're going to stick to purely color. So that's only going to take in the actual color information of the material and bake that into the texture. Output image textures, margin 16 pixels, clear image. You can all keep that the way it is. Select the object in your scene, which in this case is the starfish. Press the bake button and it will start baking the texture. That'll take a moment, depending on how powerful your CPU is. As you can see, I have a pretty powerful CPU. It's taking a moment here, mostly because the entire thing is procedural. And right here, we have the baked out texture. So now I can save this out by pressing Alt-S. And I can say, uh, save image as, and now it's saved as a PNG. And we just repeat that process. We go another image texture. And for instance, we can, uh, say uh, normals starfish as well uh, because the normals I've made here as you can see are also procedurally generated from a noise pattern so then I set the bake type from the fuse to being normal I press bake again it starts baking and it will return me with a normal map that I can use in again whatever other software that I need and here we go, we have a normal map for the starfish. Then I would also advise you to do a roughness and usually those are the three you end up using in most, if not every single uh, object you do. The other ones, if you have something that is emissive, you can do an emission map as well, that's emit. Uh, environment, transmission, not as an interesting, shadow, 
Maybe ambient occlusion. Do be careful about that though, because most game engines, that's relatively resource intensive to do. So if you don't have to do it, you can just leave that be. And obviously combined, you don't really need to do either. If you want to make a normal map out of having a higher resolution model being baked onto a lower resolution model, that is also entirely possible if you're doing a lot of things with like sculpting and stuff. Uh, we're not going to go into that today, but I do plan on making a video about that soon, so do get subscribed and stay tuned for that. For right now though, that is everything you need to know about baking and exporting your materials in Blender for a game engine.